Hello my Rockwell fans, today we have the big honor to meet uh, Glenn Hughes in Munich. He is here for, to promote the new, the fourth album of Black Country Communion, which is really cool because nobody thought about that, that there is a fourth album, but after the third album, after the break of the band, we have now to ask him why yeah. is there a reunion and how does yeah. the reunion came together? Hi, this is Glenn. Uh, just to fill you guys in, last April 2016, I was getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in New York City and Joe called me to congratulate me. Joe and I have been good friends all through the years we were not working together. So just so you know, the love is still there. So Joe asked me when I was returning home to California and I said, I'll be home in three days. He said, can we have dinner? when you get home and I said of course we can while we were having dinner Joe and I discussed why don't we get together and make a great reunion album why don't we get together and make an epic reunion yeah. album maybe the greatest album we've made yeah and I said absolutely I'm a 100% in so Joe and I decided we would get together at my home studio yeah. where Joe likes to record and write songs where we basically wrote Black Country and One Last Soul yeah. and The Great Divide, yes. songs like that. Yes. We wanted to continue that feeling. So last October we uh, got together at my home, 11 days in a row. But just you two? Just the two of us. Yeah. Uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, yeah. 11 days in a row. And then we, we wrote 18 songs and, uh -huh. and when the, we, we condensed them and we got the best 11 we fed the, we, we figured we got the best 11 songs for what was we knew it was going to be calling bcc4 so of course we went in the studio in january to record in four days we recorded the whole album really this is yeah. amazing because the songs this are so amazing really great four, just four days and yeah. Did, did you change any uh, the, the, the songwriting strategy this time, or well, was it is it diff was it different? Four days because on the fourth day my my mom I had to go to England because my mom was very sick as yeah. we know, so we didn't really change anything. We we wrote the songs at, at my place and then we brought the demos into the studio and basically we re-recorded the songs mm -hmm. as they were written. Mm -hmm. We re-recorded the songs in the same arrangement as we wrote them. Mm -hmm. We wanted to keep that same vibe, but we knew when we were writing the songs that there was a strong possibility that we would have a great number four album. Yeah. Can I ask you one question to go back just to the break of the reunion? Because the break was for all the fans and Everybody who is a fan of this band, because Joe Bonamassa, Glenn Hughes, the voice of rock, uh, Derek, and the great Jason Bonham on yes. drums, which is one of my favorite drummers, yeah, yeah, yeah. because he is nearly to his death, almost. Almost. So uh, this is a super group, and and then they had three great albums. You toured. I saw you in Munich the first time yeah. when you recorded the rec the Life in Europe yeah. album. And I thought, wow, this is a great band. And then there was the break. That How was a shock. That was a shock for everybody. Can you, can you uh, say two sentences about the break? How did the break The come break happened work? because of schedules. Um, Joe was very busy. Yeah. Very, very busy. And because there was no real plans to do anything, it was best that we just separate for a while and, and just leave it for a while, go away and... So the friendship was always there? The friendship was always there. But because everybody thought maybe they had a... a like in the old days <laughs> no. when the bands did... No. You know? There was no... The ego thing. I have no reason to sit here and tell a lie. There was no... Uh, break up. There was wow. just a, a matter of yeah. some silence yeah. and some, you know, um, there was no communication for about six months, you know, and, and then and then after a while we sort of said, hey, you know, at some point we'll get together again. 
Okay. And of course, uh, three years later, we're, we're back. Wow. Let us go a little bit into the new album, because uh, in our opinion, and we heard the album already, this is the best album, I would say it is the best album in the year 2017 for a rock album. Thank you. No point after that, yeah, it is it. <laughs> and you will hear it soon. So let us go a little bit into the new album for, tell us about the songs, what kind of songs, yeah, 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 yeah. and a little bit about uh, when it will be released. And, and your things and thoughts about the songwriting and, and, and everything up behind. Well, all the songs were written with a topic. The, the, what kind of song we're going to write musically, what kind of song am I going to write lyrics about. Yeah. Uh, again, this album is about walking through the fear, uh, having faith, um, hope, the killing of dolphins, which I'm against, of course. This is my favorite song. The Cove, yes. The Cove. Yes. Uh, look yeah. for a big video on this one, big video okay. clip. Um, Wanderlust, a song that was written about my travels and always returning home. Always safe, to get back home to a safe place. Mm -hmm. um, the Crow, a very intense rock track written about the bird that watches over the band. The Crow. Yeah, it's really a, a great song about the black country. Yeah. Uh, I wrote a song for my father when yeah. he passed away called yeah. Love Remains. The, the chorus was very, very sensitive and, and, and it sounds like a song written for someone that had just passed, you know. As you said, you're so, and it's, um, so it's a very personally and emotional very, song for you. Very personal yeah. song for me. Joe, Roy, Joe asked. He said, "Hey, I, I, I got this idea about writing a song about uh, the violin, one of the, the head violin player, of the leader of the yeah. orchestra on the Titanic." Yeah. And I said, "Well, that's a really good idea. It's a really good idea." <laughs> you know. So we, you know, he wrote uh, a lyric about. Um, the violin player. And this is the last song from my resting place. Yeah, it's you know a, a great Joe song yeah. that needed to be. As always, I mean, I love Joe. I yeah. love Joe's voice and I love Joe's work. I really do love him. And I thought it was a great opportunity to to show how versatile Joe is on this particular song. Yeah. So I'm I'm really happy for Joe. And you, you, are, you, are, you can be heard on the background vocals on that song. It's yeah. also really great. You fit together yeah. very, very good, yeah. very good. As you mentioned before, you sat with Joe 11 days and then recorded in four days. So this 11 days songwriting, you were 11 days daily together. Yes. You, you, the, the album was ready to record, and you tell the other two guys what they should play, or what? Well, we, nev uh, we never do that. Or, 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 or how you record. And by the way, the one last track. It was the middle of the night. Yes. And Gabby hears me singing. Oh my! And she said, "Honey." She woke up. What's that? I said. I don't know, but I have to go record it. And I, I left the bedroom and I went really? over my head. And I just wrote a song around that verse, that chorus, that that very mel melodic chorus, you know. So, and I came back to bed, and the idea was on recorded, and that's the way I took it to Joe, and we finished it together. And then after the 11 days, how did the recording happen? Well, what happened was... You, you, you get a feeling about that. In, you, know? you know, after Christmas we get together in the studio and Derek and, and, and Jason come in and they really haven't heard anything. They haven't heard... Okay. They had heard nothing. Thing. And one song at a time, one song, Collide, and we play the demo of Collide. Jason's... I can, we can hear what he's going to yeah, do because yeah. it sounds like John Bonham is yeah, going to be playing. Yeah, that's it. Definitely. Like it's very obvious, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then we can, then Derek figures out what's Derek going to play here, and it, obviously he's playing a mellotron in the verse. But it's it's the Bonzo sound, and it sounds and it's it's got that black country yeah. vibe to it. Yeah. And each song, as I say this to you, we record a track twice, 
And then we move to the next song, and we, we so play just ta two takes of each song. Two takes of each song. Wow. And then the next song, wow. you know, was, was Wanderlust. And we play them the song, and we, put, and we, we make the picking notes, we're making notes, and you know, we go out and we record it twice, it's done. And then the next song, you know, uh, which was uh, When the Morning Comes, that was the next song we recorded on. So you were not rehearsed, you have not no, met no, for a long time? No, rehearsal. Wow. I, I have nothing to say other than the truth. This band is supposed to be together. Yeah. To, to make music and it look everybody I, I need the fans to know this yes we are so happy to make music we all know everybody listening to this that not just me telling you this that this band is so incredible I'm so lucky and fortunate to be in this group I'm so lucky to be the spokesperson for this band I'm so happy to be here talking to you and everybody listening um, long may we continue so yes. we're just making great music well we feel it's a great opportunity to make great well when we got together Joe and I said the world needs a new album the world needs a new great rock album yeah that's it and I, I hopefully we've given we've given rock fans that that album because as you as everybody knows you played with the purple in the great days of the big albums from 1974 and, and, and all that. My favorite is the live album. Wow. I'm over live Thank fan. You. The Made in Europe album, Thank I love you. it. But, um, so, everybody of, of, of the fans know, okay, a band needs some albums to, to get this trademark to really a band. Normally they say one, two, three, four albums, yeah. but most in the time, nowadays, you get a hope of a band and then they have one album and they disappear. Yeah. So the old days are gone. Yeah. As we all know, the music yeah. business has changed. Yeah. So everybody wants to have a great, great new album of a great yes. band who is on tour, who continues to work yeah. and plays like in the old days. Yeah. So the question is, because if you do the album release, yeah. uh, and they ha you have to, to tour it because, yeah. as we all know, nobody buys music in a way like in the 70s. No. I agree. What is the plan? At the moment, there is going to be an announcement in two weeks coming up. And that will be obviously something that, that is happening, already planning to do. And then, as the time goes by, we will get more involved and plan more you know so this time you will have a plan there's a plan yeah. yes there's a there's, there is a plan good there are shows yeah uh, there's gonna be some announcements soon yeah a and it is it is what it is with the window that's open uh, and the, but there will be more and there'll, there'll be opportunities to do more because this band is too damn good not to play live. Yes, that's it. You know, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah. So when will be the album released? Album is released September twenty second. Worldwide. That's good. Worldwide. Worldwide. Okay. Available on vinyl also. Available on vinyl also. <laughs> is there any plans to do something uh, like all the bands do now? Bundles with signed vinyls or something on pledge or something. We'll be doing every shop. Or we'll, yeah, yeah. We'll be doing something? everything we can to. Okay. Look, I'm the guy that speaks for the band. Um, we are in love with this album. We are absolutely over the moon with the way this yeah. album worked out, and. Um, we're already talking album five, so oh, wow. yeah, it's wow. it's okay. something that we're really excited about. Joe and I have never been so excited about this band, so that excitement is, is making it a good reality. You know, I don't I don't want to look. We don't want to live in a dream world. We want to, you know, we, we want to play. We want to sing. We want to 
in, we want to see our fans in front of us. I, that's what I want to do, you know. But please don't shoot me if anything goes wrong. But there is a plan, and yeah. the announcement is coming in August. Very good. Okay. Perfect. So, a little attack on you, because as you are a, a great singer, we sometimes do some things, uh, and we know that you are a big soul fan. Yeah. If you just uh, get spontaneously into it, what kind of soul song is coming into your mind? And can you just sing what kind of soul a verse? Song? Yeah, what kind of your favorite soul song comes into your mind? Well, there's so, there's so, so many. It's like my, my, my mind is flooded right now. It's like, you know, it's... There's so many, you know. What is the favorite song of your from... Uh, Which, which impressed you most, the Stevie Wonder song? Well, you know, the first the Stevie Wonder music of my mind, that's when I was a teenager. Uh, that's the one that really opened my mind to the R&B world, you know, kind of songs from that album. And then, of course, I met Stevie in 74. He became my mentor and, wow. and we uh, still get together every couple of years and, and sing and play together. You play together? Yeah! And you play some of some of these songs All, together? Only only his songs, you know. <laughs> only his songs? Yeah, yeah. yeah, of course, but yeah, well, why not, you know. So, uh, I just, I'm very happy to sit next to him and watch his breathing techniques and the way he sings and the way he breathes is very important. And the way he treats his children, the way he talks to his staff, the way he talks to everyone is uh, something I need to know because it's a beautiful thing. One, one question to the last solo album because it's not a long time ago and this is a great solo album. Um, you have toured with a solo album. So uh, are there any plans to do another solo album between? Yeah. yeah. Because the last one is just yeah, perfect. No, it's a great album. I mean, it's one of my favorites. I love it. I really love Th there's it. There's no plans at the moment because okay. I'm, I'm doing something next year which is also going to be announced in September. Oh. Quite big. So it's going to keep me very busy. Yeah. So the next year for me is going to be very, very busy. You'll, you'll be seeing me quite a bit next year. Cool. Okay. So the last question, Looking forward to going back to the Black Country Communion, when will be there, if you can say it, the first live show? Is it, will it be in 2017? No. No. Okay. But very, very shortly after. Perfect. Okay. Great. Some last words to the fans, please. I want to say how much I love and respect you and thank you so much for all the love you have given to Black Country Communion and myself. We are all very, very, very happy to announce the album is coming very soon and we love you and thank you for the love you have shown us and long may that continue. Thank you very much. Great words. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a thank great you, Martin day. and Alex. Thank you. Perfect.